Good evening uh, to you. At, at the Heights, we're prayerful for you and your family during this season of life. And at this time, be as it may, we would like to deposit a word for your weekly uh, spiritual hunger. At this time, if you could turn with me, if you have a Bible, if you're in your car on the way to work, your Bible apps. If not, I'll read this in your hearing. It's from Psalm 46. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Again, he says, Be still and know that I am God. It's almost as if the psalmist is trying to portray the fact that you have to be still in order to know God. We know what it's like to be busy. We have conference calls, emails, appointments, so many things that we want to do personally. But in this season of time, perhaps the psalmist is declaring this for our spiritual food, that we need to be still to know God. And this requires us to carve out time to soak in the very presence of God. During these times, churches are closing, things are being suspended, and it seems as if the presence of God is being quenched. But I want to let you know that this presence of God is very much with you. Because God is Emmanuel, God with us. So wherever you may be right now, in your, in your car, at your house, or even trying to go on the way to the grocery store, I want you to know that you have to be still to know who God is. That causes us to be reflective. That causes us to take inventory on our lives, to pause long enough to reflect on what God has done and what God means, not only to us, but those who are most vulnerable. What God means to those who, who are from rough communities and those who are in underprivileged communities or food deserts. We need to understand that we need to be still to know who God is. It was once time where I, I learned this firsthand when I was washing the dishes. And some dishes, as you would know, take a little bit harder to get some dirt off of them. And you know you have to sometimes apply a little bit of elbow grease to get some of the stains off of the dishes. And one thing you can do to make sure that a dish shines is to soak it in water. When you soak something, you're carving out a lot of time for it just to sit in the presence of the thing that will clean it. Sometimes that's what we need to do with God. We need to just soak in His presence because the longer we soak is the more that we'll shine for God. And even in these moments where we're prohibited to meet together with large groups of the family of faith, we have to understand that we have to be soaking with God and not let the enemy make an excuse on our lives not to soak with God. For with soaking with God, we shine with God. And so, beloved, be encouraged to keep on going after God, seeking after God, and having appetite for His spiritual food. Let us go to God in prayer. Wherever you are, bow with me at this time as we pray. Father God, we ask that you heal our nation. Help us to Cling on to solidarity and service with others. God, sanctify us. Save us. San sanitize us even, God. Uh, to your will, let us be a part of your very presence. To sit in your presence. And to let the anxieties be diminished by the grace that is upon our lives. God, we have faith in you. But you said that trouble would still be present, even if we do have faith. But our faith grows because of what we face and the grace of God that you have given us, O oh Father, will sustain us in this season. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.